It's not what I do, but how I do it. Nor is it what I say, but how I say it. Vinyl Guru in the house, here to talk to you today about the most essential artists to get into for this new generation. Some great stuff. So, let's do it, darlings. Vinyl Guru. Before I get into all of this, I do want to let you know that this will be extremely varied genre-wise. So do stay tuned if you are somebody who has quite the plethora of taste. First up to bag here is going to be Father John Misty. This is Fear Fun, one of his first albums. If you read the liner notes of this, quite hilarious um, but I, I love him for his album artwork I mean this is exceptional not only is he uh, extremely quite in depth lyrically but his stuff is really really good this is the album that I got into him on um, but this is the album that really made me stay uh, pure comedy this is sheer geniusness again exceptional album cover art I gotta give you some of this because I gotta let you hear these these are this is really killer the, the title track pure comedy is sheer genius his take on pop culture is just exceptional darlings but this is a character to dive into father John Misty mr. Uh, Josh Tillman quite quite the personality and lyrically is, is quite Dylan-esque in terms of his approach Comedy of man star. So somebody's gotta go kill something. What comedy? Next here is this French act named Jane. Really, really good stuff. Jane is, you know how we do it. <laughs> you know how we do it, honey. This album is exceptional. I mean, the whole first half is just sheer genius. Come, um, heads up, Mr. Johnson. Oh man, this is this is really good stuff. But Makeba is the song that I discovered her on. This is good. This came out 2015, 2016-ish. Yeah. So this is uh, she. She got signed. Sony Music France. I know because this is a super exhausting artist to get. She comes import, so I'm having to pay ridiculous prices for a new copy. I don't normally pay these kind of prices, but look at that for a new LP. Uh, really killer act, but I, I, if I had to tell you which to dive into first, I would really recommend that first one. doing so far folks you're looking a little lightheaded you might need some air best thing to do honestly sweetie is to subscribe you might want to hit that uh, definitely hit the subscribe and that little notification bell so you might need to uh, keep up with this madness if you want to get a little bit of a pick-me-up the next one that I'm going to talk to you about is a local Torontonian act I love who have gone on to move to Austin, Texas now, but they are phenomenal. This is for fans of, you know, White Stripes, Black Keys, that killer rock double duo madness. This is Black Pistol Fire. These guys, man, this is some great stuff. I actually discovered these guys seeing them open for a really great act that I love, ZZ Ward and I fell in love. I actually liked them more than the main act. I was blown away and shocked to discover that they are from here. But listen, let me give you some of this because I really think you're gonna love it. And he, they actually did an amazing, amazing song that was quite James Brown-esque. Let's get into it. Now, I'm not exactly sure if you're familiar with an amazing rock act called Gossip. 
the gossip from the early 2000s, but an amazing, amazing rock act, okay? Led by a phenomenal front woman named Beth Ditto, who put out a really great solo album, Fake Sugar. This is a really great album here. Some of these tracks are phenomenal, darlings. Let's get in, let's get in! discovered through weird music industry insider I don't know why they're not as big as they should be really but this band leisure is phenomenal this album this this um, self-title has got some serious bangers very simple but groovy groovy stuff very sexy i would really recommend this if you're trying to get from second to third base good luck on your baseball there girl you think you got it bad this next one is a project from whom two acts that did a wonderful marriage that I always wanted to get together, really, just because of their weirdoness. And of course, they fulfilled a wonderful music dream. This is St. Vincent and David Byrne, darlings. Two phenomenal, phenomenal artists coming together to join as one and fuse us with this weirdo, horn infused madness. Better believe we like it horny, hey? This next act is one of my favorite acts of this generation, an insane live performer, one of the best out there will give you every sweat drop in them and this is an amazing pop post-punk band Libertarettes. this act was discovered by the genius Omar Rodriguez Lopez thank you for for that one um, I don't have the first album as it is kind of pricey to get now, Sin Sin Sin, but an album I do recommend. That one and this one, A Raw Youth, quite the genius stuff on these. Uh, they put out a new album recently that was a collaboration with uh, the Talking Heads' is Jerry Harrison. So that is pretty cool, being a huge Talking Heads fan. but. She's also done weird side project group things like Bosnian Rainbows with the kittens from the Mars Vault and Crystal Fairy, which is quite fabulous. I mean, we've got kittens, amazing kittens here. Melvin Bruvs, we've got uh, Omar, we've got Terry, and this is a killer, 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 heavy, like stoner-esque type of madness, really. I'll give you a taste of the other, and I'll give you a taste of this, too. Why not? band they were really young when they started in their teens but I have to say they came out with some really great stuff this is for fans of uh, kittens like Todd Rundgren and that just that classic sound they had that 
real glam rock look to them so of course that got me interested and uh, listening to this I really quite loved it and even their music videos are quite innovative um, so that is their first album to Hollywood and then they came up with another record called go to school a killer stuff I mean look at that look at that look darling serving me a little New York doll honey <laughs> Anyways, I love these guys. So let me give you the spell, the magic spell. I wanna prove to you my love is extended. Speaking of magical spellbound webs here, I got into this one singer, the songstress. Rosalia, she is a Spanish Barcelona singer. Uh, wow, this is some phenomenal gems here. Really innovative. She uh, incorporates that traditional ethnic flamenco into this pop setting and really got people in a trance. But I really quite want her first album. I have this one, but I don't know the first one. I will be getting it in the mail, I hope, sometime soon. I don't know, we'll see. But let me, in the meantime, spin you into this uh, magic girl pearly web of Rosalia. <laughs> Well, you made it to the end, and you know what that means. Toodaloo, darlings. Toodaloo.